My name is Ranch Derbyshire. I'm a beat journalist from West Yorkshire's most prestigious, hard-hitting news outlet, the Huddersfield Daily Examiner. After a long vacation on a cruise ship which shall go unnamed, I decided to extend my stay in the land of the rising sun. I've been fascinated with the food, the culture, and the history of this magical place. Not to mention the entertainment of this country since I made port in Yokohama. Which is why I was so surprised to find the Pirates of Tokyo Bay. A group of 16 diverse assholes, each bastardizing comedy in their own unique way. I was surprised to learn that these so-called pirates don't perform anywhere near Tokyo Bay. And in fact, aren't pirates at all. I recently sat down with Matt Denawich, an eight-year member of this band of idiots, to get to the bottom of the matter, and to give him a piece of my mind. Thank you for sitting down with me, Mr. Denawich. I assume it wasn't too much of an issue in between your sessions of buying used panties from vetting machines or whatever it is that you people do in your little karate kid fantasy. Oh, no problem. How could I miss an interview with the uh, Huddersfield Daily Examiner? So, you do comedy in Asia, but you are not Asian. Why? Well, I think no matter where we come from, no matter our background, we find the same things funny. Real situations, we can identify with each other and have a laugh all together. I think you're making a big assumption that people are actually laughing at what you're putting out. Hey, at least we didn't make a podcast, right? You kiss your father with that mouth? It was clear that my current angle was ineffective with Mr. Sandwich. I decided I need to take a different approach if we were to make any headway. Thank you for joining me today, Matthew. I don't know how you got this interview. I put this shield between us so that I don't catch whatever yellow fever disease it is that you have. Oh, that's why. I thought it was to complete this whole banker Mr. Monopoly get up you got going on. I've, I've taken the liberty of printing out all of the, your show reviews here, Matthew. Uh, let, let me just see. Uh, every time I see the Pirates of Tokyo Bay, I feel like I'm getting a lobotomy from a very unfunny doctor, a root canal into part of my non-existent smile, or an unelective surgery for the removal of the part of me that registers joy. What do you have to say to that? Did you write that? I have another review here. Why don't, uh, why don't you take a look at that? I think your review is a steaming pile of shit. Next question. Did it hurt? When I fell from heaven? When Satan finished creating this abomination that is your stupid fucking face. You look like an amalgam of every character from The Good Place. Don't quote feminism at me. You look like a 2012 hipster got lost in Walmart. Well, you look like if the lead singer of Creed got a desk job. You look like an incel hobbit. Well, you look like a dare officer that got assigned to the white neighborhood. You look like a laundromat fucked Tucker Carlson. I hate you. I encountered a great many surprises in my time in Japan, but none perturbed me to the degree of the pirates of Tokyo Bay, inflicting their brand of comedy upon the unwanting masses. We are living in a new world, and with the new world comes new rules. But in the end, though I never found a satisfying answer with regard to who, and more importantly why the pirates of Tokyo Bay are, I rest easy in the knowledge that I will never have to speak to any of these people ever again.